to Brajil CS. Today's video is about the job and shipment tracking. In this video, we'll show you how the end customers can track their jobs and shipments. First step is to enable the tracking facility from the customers module. Go to customers. If you have already created the customer, you can go to edit and enable the tracking from tracking part. Here we have enabled the tracking option. The default password is present here. If you want to make a custom password for your end customer, you can enable the custom password and make accordingly. Click on save once the data are filled. After finishing these steps from your side, you can provide the domain and login credentials to the end users. The domain is nothing but the same URL as yours, but at the end they need to add slash tracking. This is how the login page looks like. The first option, login provides them the access to the status of all the jobs related to the respective customer. In the username part, they need to use the registered email ID which you have captured in the system. Branch code field has to be filled with the branch code of your bridge account. Once the user has login into the system, they can find the customer name and customer number here according to the data fed into the bridge system. The sections available here are jobs, feedbacks and change password. In the jobs part, the customer can get the details of the job under multiple categories. As you can see, we have pending, completed and all here. First is pending. The list of pending jobs along with their respective status are listed here. Action has two options, view and upload. View gives you the details of the job and upload facilitates the option to upload the required data. Similarly, the completed section contains the list of completed jobs and all has both pending and completed jobs. Next part is feedback. The customer can raise the query and feedback from this part. Next option that we are going to discuss here is only for shipments. Here the customer can log in using the variable number or the job number. Job number is nothing but the number assigned in the bridge LCS system. As we discussed earlier, here the branch code field has to be filled with the code of bridge user. In this section, the job details displayed here are related to the bell number used while logging in. This is the lastly updated status of the job. Here you can find the job number, port of loading, port of discharge and other details. This part provides you the details related to the bill, arrival and departure. Finally, if the customer wants to print the details, they can do the same from here. These are the steps that needs to be followed by the user to track the shipments and jobs. We hope that you would have found these features useful. Thank you for watching.